Hello there. So you're probably wondering why I'm sitting between two golf trolleys. Well, let me explain. Uh, back in March, Stuart Golf released uh, some teaser videos on their social media about a new trolley coming out soon called the Apex. I contacted them and asked for more information and I was advised that it probably wouldn't appeal to me because it doesn't have a follow function. However, they did ask if I'd like to try one out anyway. So here I am. I'm here with my Q Follow and the brand new Vertex, as it's now called. Now, I could be playing a game of spot the difference here because as you can see, they are very, very similar. Now, I want to make this clear right from the start. I'm not being paid by Stuart Goff for this video. They've sent me this loan unit to test out and to give my honest feedback on, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. The Vertex has clearly been based on the tried and tested chassis of the Q Follow, and it uses a lot of the same parts, which is why it's pretty much identical. Um, my Q Follow had some upgrades carried out about a month or so ago to take it up to the current spec, so the only obvious difference between them are the new wheels, which we'll take a closer look at later, uh, and some parts with the new logo on them, etc. So it's basically a Q series then, but without the follow. So what's new and what's changed? Well, the Vertex has some new clever electronics and technology which should not only make it better to, to drive, but it should also make it go further. So the trolley has ATC, which stands for Active Terrain Control, and that adds sensors to the trolley to let it know when it's on a hill. So I can only assume we're using some sort of accelerometer like you would find on an iPhone, for example, and these will tell the trolley the, the sort of slope gradient of the hill, etc., and they'll help it adjust its motors to um, combat the, the sort of usual problems that a remote trolley has on hills. For example, going across a hill, it would usually kind of veer downwards. Um, in theory, this should be able to plough straight across, uh, and it should also help with um, maintaining speed while going uphill and controlling speed while going downhill too. Now, I've been using remote golf trolleys for over 10 years now, and generally they all suffer from the same sort of issues with hills. So we'll see if this, uh, these new features combat it. Um, but we'll get down the course later and we'll give it a try. The other upgrade the Vertex has is it has regenerative braking, which means as it slows down and stops, it actually helps charge the battery. Um, we've also increased the range on this, so apparently we can remote control Bluetooth from 100 metres rather than 50 metres, which the previous trolley did. Again, we can test that out on the course later. Now, before I take it out in the course, I'm going to get the camera and have a, a closer look at some of the, the bits of the trolley while it's still clean. So, what's different between the two trolleys? Um, firstly, the panset white. Mine has the follow button on it. Um, the new one's not follow, so it doesn't have that. We've got a Stuart Golf logo on the Q follow there, along with a Q badge on the handle here. And the battery says Q series smart power. Obviously, wheels on this one. And then we move on to the new Vertex, which has the new S Stuart Golf logo on there on the handle. This one just says Stuart Golf smart power on the battery. And it's got a button there. Uh, and you've actually got to turn this on and then this on to make this one work. Go around the back. We now have the new Stuart logo on there as well. So the main visual difference on the Vertex is the new wheels. And I think it's it's a nice refreshing change because the wheels on the Q Follow are actually the same wheels or same style of wheels anyway that were on the X5, X7, X9, X10 and the F1 trolley. So I think this style of wheels anyway has done about the last eight or nine years worth of trolleys. So it's nice to see something new. Now I guess the obvious question for any owners of a Q series or an X series are, are these wheels going to fit on my trolley? Well, let's find out. So the wheel just comes off like an X series, press the button and pull it towards you. And we can see that this one's got a kind of five notch system on it. Whereas the old wheel has a four slot system on it. So unfortunately that's not going to be directly compatible. Um, I have seen in the past when this wheel came out, uh, the previous, I think it was the X3 trolley I had at the time, had a two slot version and you could actually buy an upgrade kit 
which changed the, um, the sort of hub to fit this. So it may well be that there's a hub upgrade available for the Q series, X series, etc., so that you can fit this one and still use this style of wheel. Again, we'll wait and see with that. So next thing for me is to get the Vertex charged up just now and we'll get it out in the course tomorrow and see how it performs. So I've played two rounds with the Vertex now and I'm really impressed with it. I didn't do much in the way of filming during those two rounds because I was actually there to play golf and it's a little bit distracting. But what I'm doing just now, it's uh, just after 8pm on Sunday evening and I'm heading out to try and make some videos just now. Now you can maybe see behind me that I've got two golf bags and two trolleys and I'm going to do some comparisons. I just hope that the course is uh, empty just now otherwise I'm going to look like a right idiot trying to handle two trolleys. The good news I guess is that one of them should follow me so I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. I'm here at the golf club now. The uh, car park's pretty much empty so hopefully I can get away with um, getting out onto a few holes and, and testing the pair of these trolleys together. Right so up ahead of me just now is our 16th hole which as you can see is pretty downhill. There's quite a lot of undulations and uh, weird shapes to it. We we'll have to walk up first to make sure that there's nobody away to tee off because obviously I don't want to be in the middle of um, people playing while I'm messing about with these and then I'll uh, run them down the hill side by side and see how they go and then we'll try driving them up the hill side by side and see how they go Here we are with a big sort of dip in front of us We've got the queue follow on the left with the green bits on the stand bag We've got the vertex on the right with the white and black bag both bags weigh exactly the same, I've had to put some weights in the, the yellow bag to give it that extra bit because obviously it's a lightweight stand bag. I'll hold my hands here so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to press forward twice on each one. So what I think is going to happen here is the Vertex is going to carry on at exactly the same speed, what should happen anyway and the queue follow should take the hill and be off and there you go it's away no change in speed on me, uh, by me it's just the hill that's doing that and if we move over here a wee bit the same again, you ready? one, two I have to give that one a wee nudge to stop them catching each other but you can see the queue follows away the vertex is keeping its pace down the hill like it's meant to so this is pretty much the same test again Q follow this side, vertex this side and we're going up the hill and what we're going to see hopefully is after two presses one two one two the vertex keeps its speed it's not quite so obvious as the downhill one however the Q follow is kind of going Mm, it's a bit steep for me you really need to press my button again to get me to speed up because you're going to walk into the back of me a little turn there to save it going in the bunker it doesn't look nearly as obvious but believe me it is actually makes the vertex a much nicer trolley to push by hand than the Q follow because it maintains its speed so if you've got it set at your walking speed it sticks with it in front of us here we've got a bit of rough which has got quite a sort of slope down uh, with undulations on it and my understanding of the the vertex trolley was that when you drove it along this and it's got a side slope to it it wouldn't kind of veer down the slope like this one will um, so we'll run it first and then I'm going to run exactly the same trajectory with the uh, the vertex and see how it copes. So here we go. I'll put it up to about speed, well, four presses. Right, hold this so you can't, I'm not touching it. You can see immediately the trolley is sagging off to the side. Doesn't like the shape of the hill. And from there, obviously, I'm going to have to correct it myself if I want to keep walking a straight line. Now with the vertex, four presses. I'm not going to touch any of the buttons, we'll see what happens with this. Now in theory, this should go in a straight line.
You can see the queue follow over there, so it's doing a better job than it is. It is starting to gradually sag down the hill though. There we go. And now it's that little bit steeper, it is turning away from it. So it's certainly a lot better. So I'm going to do a simple range test here. The trolleys are over there, you can maybe see them in the distance. I've used my Bushnell to measure 109 yards, which equates to 100 metres, which is the range that Stuart say the Vertex will work from. Um, let's see, we've got them both side by side. So I don't know how well you're going to see this, but let's try the queue follow first. And yes, it's moving, so 100 metres, although it's advertised as 50, no problem. Vertex Black Remote. Yeah, it's moving too, okay. Let's try. So there's my 100 yard, uh, well, 100 metre marker. Let's try going a wee bit further. I picked a par 5 with no water for this test, because uh, for, for safety reasons, obviously. So you can maybe see my umbrella and the two trolleys. So again, let's try Q-Follow. I'm now at 150 yards. And here comes the Q-Follow. can still steer it. Okay. And let's try the Vertex. Yeah, no problem either. Okay, obviously they've both moved forward a bit, so we'll stop and move to bang on 200 yards. Again, you can see how far away the umbrella is. Q follow. Yeah, it's going. I can see that from here. Yeah, no problem. If I leave that running, you'll actually probably see it starting to come towards me. Um, while we're doing that. Vertex. And yeah, it's coming towards me too. I don't know if you can see either of them appearing in, in the camera shot yet because they are so far away it's unbelievable. Just walking back up the first fairway back to the car. Um, the vertex in front of me. See the queue follow behind me following me. Which is uh, just as well because trying to push two trolleys together is an absolute nightmare. Now that I've managed to have a couple of rounds on the course with this trolley, I can give you my honest opinion. And I think I can say, hand on heart, that this is the best remote trolley and potentially push trolley I've ever used. I'm choosing my words carefully there because there's a but. And the but is, it doesn't have follow. Now for me, the follow function on the trolley, um, because I've been using it for five and a half years now, is part of how I play golf. Um, it's part of the relaxation and not having to worry about what you're doing with your clubs and your trolley, etc. You press a button and you walk off and, and behind you it comes. Um, if I was looking for a remote trolley without follow, then this would be the one I would buy. Now, I spent a lot of this video comparing this Vertex to my Q Follow, but I think a lot of the comparisons are generic to any electric or remote golf trolley. For example, pushing it up a hill and it, the trolley slowing down because of the gradient of the hill, that's going to happen with a, a power caddy, with a motor caddy or with anything else. The same with rolling it down the hill and it tries to get away from you because the, the hill's too steep. That's going to happen with anything else too. And I would say that this is a, a breath of fresh air to push and uh, I mean the, the technology in this is, is on to the next level. Um, I can only hope that one day they bring this technology into a follow trolley and that would be my next purchase. Overall I think this is a, a fantastic trolley, I, I like the way it looks, I really like these new wheels and again I hope these get ported over to the, the Q follow one day, um, maybe a, a conversion kit. The downside to that is any other wheels like your hedgehog wheels you might already have for an existing Stuart trolley wouldn't fit anymore, um, so you'd have to buy new ones of them. Well, I think that's me just about done. So before I sign out, I'd like to say thanks for watching, um, especially if you got this far. Uh, if you've found this useful, then click the like button. Um, if there's anything I've missed or anything you want to comment on, then leave me a comment below. And I'm hoping to have some more content coming up in the future, so perhaps click the subscribe button. Uh, lastly, I'd like to say thanks to Stuart Golf for the lone trolley. 
I've really enjoyed testing it and uh, I hope I haven't missed anything out. Um, so hopefully see you next time.